Hello and welcome to another one of my videos and in today's video I'm going to be going through how you can survive a gold and silver smackdown. Now I bet you there's going to be one person who doesn't watch the video and says oh you should be buying for the long term oh, and it's just like yes watch the video give me an appropriate comment okay you're not you're not helping anyone here by saying those things. I do appreciate the people who watch this channel um I'm going to go through what you can to to kind of weather the storm. Now, some of it's going to be based on my own private experience as a trader, which is going to be slightly different from your experiences as individuals who who buy for investment or for collecting purposes. So, for those of you who have been watching the the spot price, it's taken an absolute beasting last couple of days. I said it in my last video. Um, a gold dealer gives advice about the markets within the markets. You know. When the price takes a bit of a hammer in, it, it's more annoying to me than catastrophic. You know, I've already done okay this month in in terms of what I made, so it's it's not too bad. In terms of where we're currently at on the prices, it's it's not looking fantastic. However, there are there are certain things you can do. So, as I'm speaking, the price is what forty pound a gram on gold, so twelve forty six and silver's 16.82, so 54 pentagram. Um, that's okay. So yeah, I'm gonna show you a load of things that I've got in, and I'm gonna show you, well, I'm gonna go through the different tactics I have. So I've got these as sovereigns as well. I've got five sovereigns on the books. I've got Brits. I've got some semi numi I've got some semi numi gold so you, you're kind of covering all I'll, I'll also throw on one of these because this is now on the chopping block um, I've decided I'm going to move it on so this is a numismatic play now annoyingly I've got 105 ounces of silver Brits my profit has gone from being pretty tasty to pretty crappy that's okay you know I always say to people that I pay a set rate over spot. The reason is not to maximize my profit. The reason is to minimize my risk for times like this. Now you could say by minimizing your risk, you're maximizing your profit at the same time, which is a fair argument, but that's not the first thing on my mind. I try and run a book that's that's quite fair towards people, you know, but I turn away more deals these days than I actually take. And the reason I turn them away is because I'm I'm looking at the downside thinking if it goes against me like it's done now, you know, that's going to be a problem. Now, I've got enough in reserve in terms of stock and also in terms of cash that I can just kind of maneuver in and out the market. When I spoke on my video the other day and I said uh, when the market changes and spot drops and it goes from being a, a seller's market to a buyer's market, it's annoying for me. It's It's tedious because I had to kind of move the stock around again to become more profitable. Now it does go in swings and roundabouts for me as well. So it's gonna even out over time. There's gonna be times where it's on the flip side where I've built up the reserves. Now, if I didn't build the reserves up, you could argue it's just coins in, coins out, and I don't have to worry about these things. However, with the model that I run, I think there's more money in it for me. Now, for you as an individual, you're gonna be running several types of strategies. So if, if you're buying long-term, buy the dip. Just buy the dip, you know, don't worry about it. You've probably got a, a paycheck coming in each month. You're gonna be okay. You're, you're gonna have a, an average on, on whatever it is. These are more collectibles, more, more collectible stuff. This is just bullion, this bit here. And you're just gonna buy and buy and buy and buy and by the time you get to your your end goal, you know, you're gonna have a pretty solid average, or at least you'll hope to think so. Now, statistically, like I said, with inflation that is inset, it's inbuilt by governments wanting to kind of inflate the price of things by 2% a year, or at least that was the case when I was at school, it's it's not gonna be a problem. Now say you have to sell, like, what, what are you gonna do? Now for me, it's easy. I've still got money loaded on these. I'm at a loss on these. I'm probably at a big profit on these, but I just need cash flow. It doesn't bother me, so I can take, I can literally, take the small loss on these, or take them off the table, it doesn't matter because sovereigns come and go fairly consistently. Or I can work around, you know, I'm gonna make money on these, I'm gonna fire sell these in a minute, 
So I'm gonna list these at 24 an ounce. It should be the cheapest on the market in terms of social media. I've got 105 ounces. That's gonna put me at a three pound margin or slightly under three pound. It, it's gonna it's gonna cover me. I probably won't drop it anymore. I think there's gonna be buyers. If there's not buyers for everything, that's okay. You know, I probably need 5K to, to trade around to move my position so they go from being in a bad position to a profitable position again. That's not to say that I'm gonna make massive, massive losses across the board, that, that just isn't the case. It's just I need to move it around and move it around quickly. I need the flexibility. For you guys, that's gonna be completely different. If you've got a cash call and you've been building over time, the reality is you've seen these prices before. You would have seen cheaper prices before that as well. So you're gonna do okay. Now, if you needed cash quick, you'd probably just go for the bullion However, if you wanted to kind of not take a loss on some things, you'd go for this type of stuff. This type of stuff would have come out, you would have paid a fairly decent price. I'm gonna ping these off for 50 quid. You probably didn't pay that when they came out. No, 2020, the chances are to come out late 2019. It would have been pre-pandemic, you know, before the COVID bump, you would have done okay. So you'd be able to sell these types of coins and, and be okay. These coins here, so these are temps. I'm just gonna move these today as well. I've got too much stock on my books. Now, before I was listing these at 185 posted, which is, it's a fair price. You can pick them up slightly cheaper. You can pick them up for more money. It is a fair price. Now, you probably would have been able to pick these up if you'd been in the game a while, maybe 150, 160. I remember buying these for even cheaper than that before I was a dealer. It can be done. So if you did have a cash call, these are something that you could move. So these are, I don't expect to drop the price on these as much in comparison to stuff like this. Now in terms of this, I had this value by another dealer. I sent him a message, I said, look, my specialty area is not in numismatic coins you're a dealer of numismatic coins, what do you value at? And he said, I, I think it's 100 to, I think it was 100 to 1200, I think he said, or 1100 to 1200. Um, I paid 700 quid on it. So I will probably list this at a thousand pound. I don't think I'll go, in, no, I won't go any lower. That's the, the truth is they don't come in often. I won't be going lower on that but it gives me an out. So if you've got something like this and you've bought it in a time where, you know, the, the prices hadn't appreciated as much, the price on these has gone up quite quite a lot. Since I've been following it, they have gone up quite a lot. It's not the best, the best example. I think it's an AU55, I'd say. But as you can see, you've got multiple options and it ties in with the uh, Gold Dealer Gives Advice mini series that I've been putting together. You've got your bullion, you've got your semi numi and you've got your, your numismatic. And the price drop is, is gonna affect the prices on these completely. These are gonna move a lot. These are gonna be quite rigid in their price and they might move a little bit downwards. This here, it's still gonna be a collectible coin. Now, as an individual, and if you do have a cash call and it is in one of these times where the price has been smacked down, you know, depending on how long you've been buying, you can move a combination of all of them. If you're in a position where you're a recent buyer and you're actually underwater, move your semi numi or move your numismatic. If you've done okay on the pricing, it, it's going to be kind to you. If you've been buying Brits, uh, I think at one point I was selling Brits for 27. The reality is they're not a 27 coin anymore. You go to, for example, let's go to Atkinson's just because I was looking at the the, uh, the spot price. Let's go to one ounce silver coins. You can buy brand new 2021 Brits. If you buy a tube of them, they're gonna cost you 25 pound a Brit. If you pay 27, you're not getting 27 back. You're gonna be getting more around the 24 mark, which is where I'm gonna be pricing today. I hope the video's kind of helped. I just wanted to give a practical example. I know people like seeing shiny things. You know, it doesn't, it's not always plain sailing in life. 
whether you're a business or an individual. If you've been stacking a long time, it's going to have looked after you. If you've recently started stacking and you need a cash call, you know, you might have to see what you can lose the most on or see what you can break even on. You know, that's that's part and parcel of what we do because on the flip side, there's going to be times where everything goes through the roof and you're, you're going to make money on that. It Precious metals is usually not something... I know in my case, I'm, I'm not the perfect example because I do make money consistently, but it's not something where you're meant to be making 10% every week on it. It's something that's meant to preserve preserve your wealth over time and usually it does you know usually you do okay so i hope you've enjoyed the video i hope you've found some use of it i hope you've actually enjoyed seeing some shiny in front of you and no i'm not going to clean my desk take care guys bye